Fans Hobbies Facebook page revealed to us some prototype images that is going to be used for their upcoming MB11A Black God Armor, armor, which is pretty much their masterpiece-esque kind of version of the Japanese Master Force character God Bomber. For people who don't know, God Bomber was a character in Master Force that was a parts former in a lot of ways that combined with what you could call God Ginrai, a.k.a. Japanese version of Power Master Optimus Prime, to make his power-up armor. He was actually one of the first uh, characters to ever do this. Uh, we'll call it the Magic Mushroom Syndrome, where you power up the leader character of a Transformer series. It started here with Master Force. Mm. So this is the MB11A Black Armor version. Uh, it looks really, really cool. They have it next to uh, their black repaint of... Uh, of their, again, their Power Master Optimus Prime God Ginrai, showing like how it connects and how it works with it and everything. And it looks pretty good. It looks yeah. pretty good. I mean, th the one thing is that, like, I mean, we already had uh, a God Bomber kind of set that came from the classics side of things through the Legends line. They released one, but now we have something that's more of that masterpiece scale. Takara has not done a masterpiece scale of either one of these characters yet. So. You know, third party being third party, got to fill that void. Yeah. Um, it says here that the combination itself will th will stand 37 centimeters tall, which is pretty large right there. Um, I was, in all honesty, in all honesty, I would expect something probably even larger when they make an official one, because just f factoring in just how big Star Saber was when they did his masterpiece toy. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it, it's pretty cool. It comes with the, uh, you know, two extendable swords, the shoulder cannon and everything. And, and even in regular robot mode, it's 31 centimeters. So it's a pretty large uh, combiner and even a large robot on its own. But it will be a parts former because that's kind of the name of the game with that character. That was just how he worked. Uh, similar to uh, similar to that of uh, Victory Leo was the same thing to come apart and go back together. Uh, the planned release date for this is supposed to be August 2019, which works out a lot with uh, TFCon when we go back to DC. So that being said, it's something that you'll pro will probably have in the display case and prototypes at the Toronto show. And we'll probably have something for sale, hopefully in the deal room from some of the distributors and dealers when the convention rolls around then. So if you're someone that's, you know, not looking forward to doing a pre-order and paying extra on shipping, but you're going to be coming to TFCon, this mm -hmm. is one option that you could consider. It's all about timing, as I say. Save yourself a couple bucks, because especially when you're buying a masterpiece and it's going to be large on shipping. So uh, this is really cool stuff, though. I really dig it. Looks really nice. Um, I almost, I'm trying to figure out which images I want to use. There's, there's so many good images of this from different angles. I, I want really to kind like of the two the two swords one. And yeah, then like when they're sheathed. I wish it was one with like him with one of the swords and the other one was sheathed. Yeah, that it, that would look pretty good. Cool. Oh no, and, there's one, there's one, but you have to like really be looking for the other sword. Yeah, it, it it's it's something that wasn't present on the original character, but it's something that they were just probably going like, you know, how do we like you know add a little extra something interesting to the character to have him like have two swords or something i honestly thought when i first saw it i was like oh are they supposed to be part of the wings no it's actually a separate kind of uh gimmick that they're gonna have with it so uh this is really cool definitely check it out and uh, if you're interested to buy it i'm pretty sure you'll probably get a best chance to get it for the cheapest price at tfcon dc